स्टैंडर्डाइज सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड सोल्यूशन बाइजिंग एच दैट मीन पोटेशियम हाइड्रोजन थैलेट एंड फॉर दैट पर्पज वी आर टेकिंग दिस टाइप ऑफ केमिकल्स we have sodium hydroxide that means nnoh in forms of pellets then potassium hydrogen phthalate having molecular weight is approximately 2004 204 sorry indicator adsorbability indicator and we have concentration in between solution of nnoh so let's start the practical first we have to prepare solution of 0.1 normal nnoh and 0.1 normal koh for that purpose these are the calculations given on the board <coughs> for nnoh when we are we are going to add 40 g of nnoh in 1000 ml then the concentration of solution is one normal solution that means if we want to prepare 100 ml one normal solution of sodium hydroxide then 4 g of nnoh should be added to make up the volume up to 100 ml so now for this practical we have to calculate we have to prepare 0.1 normal nnoh so we will add 0.4 g of nnoh in 100 ml in that same way we will or we can prepare 0.1 normal khp solution for that purpose we have to add 2.04 g of khp in 100 ml of water so as per our requirement we have prepared the two solutions of nnoh and khp these are the two beakers left hand side beaker contain 0.1 normal concentration of nnoh solution and right side beaker contains 0.1 normal solution of khp now we have to add this solution in burette and conical flask nnoh should added in burette used as a key solution should keep in conical flask which act as a titrate and for this titration we have to add phenolphthalein as a indicator as discussed earlier we have to add 0.1 normal nnoh in this burette so lower meniscus of the 0.1 normal nnoh should be matched with zero level and 20 ml of khp solution is added in a conical flask now for determination of end point we have to add phenolphthalein as indicator as khp is basic in nature we have to add one to two drops of phenolphthalein as a indicator <clears throat> this is the phenolphthalein solution which act as a indicator now we have to begin this our experiment for the titration we have to add drop by drop nnoh in it and then after we want to titration titrating just a minute i am going to adjust it for only visual purpose after each drop you have to stir the solution okay just uh, you have to add a single single drop 
so we want to continue this process up to color change that means from colorless to color change when we will got when we will get pink or just slightly pink solution then it is our egg. process of addition of 0.1 normal NMH and continuous stirring of the KHP solution to get end point colorless to just pink. So we have to stop this type of titration after getting color change. Still color of this solution is colorless. See, this is again the colorless. After addition of each drop, you have to stir it again and again. carefully if you can if you will add some drop of NH in it then there is a color change but this color change is not a permanent that means after stirring again that pink color will reappear to colorless so we want to convert from colorless to just a pink solution For that purpose, you have to stir it again. This is the permanent color chain. Yes, everyone can see it. You just have to add just a single drop. We want to convert this colorless solution to just a pink. Now, this is the endpoint of the reaction. And we want to determine this endpoint only. Now, for this color change, how much NaOH is to be required? This can be calculated by using Biretri. You can see this is near about 21.3. So, after one or after addition of 21 ml, you will get the final titration value. So see carefully, so total volume of KHP solution added is 20 ml. <clears throat> total volume of NaOH, that means initial volume is zero. Initial volume of the degraded for NaOH, 0 0.1 normal. Anyway, is zero. Then after end point, you will get this is the difference 21.3. So total volume of NOH required for titration is 21.3 ml. Now we want to revise it again for second time and third time. And then we will take the whole process.
so after third type of titration we will get this type of results okay <clears throat> we want to determine average of these three so for that purpose you have to add 21.3 plus 23.1 plus 22.0 whole divided by 3 now you can now after three times titration we will get the final result that means total volume of kft solution Needed to get equivalent point is 20 ml, 20 ml, 20 ml. P1 that means initial volume of NaOH which should be added to get a neutralized point is 0, 0 and 5, and final volume is 21.3, 23.1, 27.0. This is the difference in between V initial and V final. That means total amount of NaOH volume required for titration which is equal to 21.3 ml in first titration. 23.1 ml in second titration and 22.0 ml in third titration so now we want to calculate average value of this 21.3 23.1 and 22.0 so this is the average value that means 22.1 ml now as per the definition we all know normality is nothing but a gram equivalent weight of any type of solution or any type of drug or any chemical added in 100 ml of solution so the amount of solute added in that type of normal solution is always equal at the point of equivalence point so thus n1 v1 represent the amount for kht n2 v2 represent amount for na as we all know n1 is nothing but normal or normality value of kht solution v1 is the total volume of kht solution required for titration n2 is nothing but normality which we have to determine v2 is nothing but a average buret ribi okay so by rearranging this formula we can say n2 is equal to n1 v1 upon v2 therefore we just have to put up the values here and finally calculate the final amount that is nothing but 0.09 normal so normality of the given nao solution p was obtained by using three times titration method is 0.09 so this is the uh, your result that means obtain normality of given naoh solution was 0.09